Hey, what's going on everybody? It is David Palmer, the Leo King, and I am here live at the United Astrology Conference, and I'm here to do your weekend report, and I'm also mixing this with next week with my uncut, and I'm doing this actually free off of the Future Life app to not only show people who still aren't on the Future Life app, which you're missing out with on my weekly uncut, and my weekend horoscope, and of course, all my daily horoscopes. Um, very interesting week, of course, because number one, we do got a full moon coming up, but this weekend is not the full moon. We're gonna have the moon in Scorpio this weekend. We got the sun in Gemini. And what's interesting about this moon in Scorpio is it's finally gonna be the first time that the moon has opposed Uranus, which has just moved into Taurus. So I think there's gonna be a lot of things that you're gonna start to feel, especially with this Uranus-Taurus aspects that are really gonna finally start to be understood. I think that when Uranus entered into this sign, it really kind of, especially in Taurus, takes a little bit of time to understand what's gonna happen. Uranus is a very big understanding planet and tries to figure everything out. But in Taurus, remember, it's a very fixed Earth sign. There's a lot of you know concrete, there's a lot of Earth. So it takes a little bit of time, but that moon in Scorpio is definitely gonna to start to emotionally you know, want to pull from this, want to go deeper, want to, you know, try to reveal what is going on with the things that we're creating in our life. Remember, we are in Gemini. This is a time of questions. This is a time of thinking a lot about what's going on in our life. And with Mercury, which of course is finishing in Taurus this week and coming into Gemini, this is really a weekend of a lot of emotional saturation, while at the same time, Venus is going to oppose Saturn. And this Venus opposition to Saturn is interesting because Venus in Cancer loves to, you know, feel good and reach out emotionally. But when it opposes Saturn in Capricorn, it's kind of this harsh reality check. So it's kind of an interesting weekend with the moon in Scorpio. Of course, that's a detriment. And then Venus opposing Saturn where it doesn't want to really deal with. I think a lot of this is going to be inside yourself. This is about being aware that life is changing. Vibrations are changing, feelings are changing, and these new changes are to better your life. So get out of your own way. I think that this is a weekend to stop trying to find crazy answers all the time and really start to go, you know what, I need to get out of my own way when it comes to the energy and the vibration that I maybe am not comfortable with yet or I'm not ready for. And I think this Venus opposed Saturn is kind of teaching us if we do change our feelings and start to create new ways of comfort, create new value systems, create even new emotional relationships, we can actually start to get more on path in our life and where we're going. We can actually start to find some sort of purpose that's actually gonna bring us to a better place. I think Saturn and Capricorn, even though it can sometimes be you know, a little bit harsh, I think what it's doing is trying to make the betterment of our life. Now when we come into this week, especially starting Monday, we're going to have this full moon in Sagittarius. And I think um, this full moon in Sagittarius is going to be, I think, positive just for the sheer fact that one, it's definitely going to bring, I think after all this earth and, and, and all this new energy that's come in, it, it's going to try and find the blessings in the lessons we're starting to learn in the new vibrations. It's going to start to you know, really reveal all the options we have in our life that maybe we weren't looking at before. And as we come into this week, it's, it's interesting because when you really start to pay attention to Mercury coming into um, Gemini after this full moon, the reason why I think this is so important is because this full moon in Monday, Tuesday, with Mercury leaving Taurus and entering into Gemini is really gonna just bring a lot of stimulation to our life and start to really be excited about this new energy. So I think this weekend, there could be some, I, hate, I don't wanna say Debbie Downers, but I think that it's like, we are adjusting to new vibrations. But the new week that follows that is about going, holy cow, you know what? I'm gonna start to enjoy and start to see how can I learn from these new vibrations? Where can it take me? What are the new environments that can change? How can I change my mind about certain things? There's a lot of those things that are gonna be changing right now. So I'm actually excited about this new, this full moon because I think it's gonna bring a lot of excitement. I think it's gonna bring a lot of things that maybe we weren't expecting 
I think there's a lot of like this new expectation of new vibration that we weren't really knowing how to deal with and being excited of the new place and where it can go, being excited of the new vibration overall. Um, it's also interesting as we kind of move on through this week, Venus still being in Cancer, of course, even though it's opposing Saturn, it gets out of that position and starts to, you know, really start to feel good. And I think we start to feel more comfortable in our skin with new vibrations. We start to feel more comfortable in who we are overall. But what's interesting is the moon, after it's full in Sag this week, it does come into Capricorn where, of course, Saturn is and, of course, Pluto is. And I think with that energy, it's going to be interesting to start to realize that no matter how much that we're trying to understand what's going on in our life, there are things that have to be done and they might be uncomfortable. And, 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 and even though we're going to have moments where we start to figure out okay, I'm starting to understand the vibration better. There's still gonna be moments that are gonna doubt yourself. And a, a full moon in Sag and Gemini is always full of belief systems and doubts and questions and mind issues. And especially with Uranus now and Taurus, are you gonna be okay to deal with things? Do you have enough energy and power? Do you have enough self-worth? Are you gonna be able to create a better life? Are you gonna be able to get through all this stuff? You definitely are. So be easy on yourself this week. Realize that you're going to get to the bottom, and maybe not fully, but at least you will reach the bottom of some part of your life emotionally where you can finally start to understand how you feel about these new vibrations over the last couple weeks that have been shifting so much and start to answer some sort of questions with that crazy Mercury coming into its natural place of Gemini and start to stimulate yourself and get more ideas and more understandings this week of where things are going, and especially with this moon finishing a Capricorn on top of Saturn, on top of Pluto, hey, this is where we're going in my life. These are where my new comfort zones are, about new crazy vibrations, and more importantly, I have a better idea, I'm feeling better in my mind, I'm stimulated, and I'm excited for the future of where it could go. So, hope that helps. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's a million things we could talk about. I mean, Mars, of course, is going to be trining over to Mercury So by the end of this week. And I think that that is like, we end this week with like a, okay, let's go. Like, I know to the direction as far as what I think I understand I should go. And I think that there's going to be a lot of positivity that comes through this week. And to help us understand some of the heaviness and this kind of misunderstanding of where the vibrations are going at the moment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part, of course, of futurelife.tv. If you're not part of it, go to futurelife.tv or go to the Future Life app, download it, or go to the website. It's a seven-day free trial. I truly appreciate it. If you're in Chicago, of course, we're here at United Astrology Conference all week. I truly appreciate all your support for the Leo King Network, and I will see you later.